Hello there and welcome to this OCR J276 GCSE computer science video where we are looking at variables, constants and data types. So in today's lesson we're looking at variables, constants, operators, inputs and outputs, assignments and different data types which you can see there. So let's get cracking. So learning outcomes for today you can see there so you can see where the pitch of the lesson is, what the challenge is going to be, how we're going to be looking at. So variables and constants are stored values which are located in memory. So when we are creating something in Python or when you're creating something in Java, uh, variables and constants are values which are then stored elsewhere and you can make reference to them, you can use them, you can call them, you can edit to them, you can delete them. So variables and constants store values which are located in memory. Variables can change. So we could have a variable for age each year, that would change. We could have a variable for shoe size because shoe size changes. Constants, however, always remain the same. So you could have a, a constant called DNA because your DNA will hopefully always stay the same. So we've got variables which change the same, sorry, variables which can change, constants which remain the same, and they are both located somewhere in system memory. We've then got a whole host of data types there. I'm not going to read out everything on the table. I'm just going to talk about it and refer to it. So we've got integers which are whole numbers and reals which are numbers with decimal places so we would use whole numbers in particular places whereas if we want to be more accurate with the data that we are using we'd want to use reals booleans are true and false statements yes no questions so again there's going to be some requirements or some places which might need a true false yes no value which then would be suitable to use we've then got characters and strings a character is this individual symbol. You can look at your keyboard. You can see loads of different characters there. And then a string is a group of characters altogether. We've then got casting. So we might take an input initially as an integer, but then we might want to play about with that variable or play about with that constant and use it as a different data type. And this is where casting comes into play. We could cast an integer to appear to be a string or vice versa, we could cast a string to be worked and used as an integer. So again, casting, very important. So what I want you to do in your book, show your knowledge of variables, constants, data types. You can see your different questions there. Have a pause of the video, have a quick go, and then we'll move on. So up next, we are looking at assignment. And here we can see we've got two variables, one called name, one called age. Um, and in name, we are assigning the string Bob. Um, and we are assigning the integer 22. We can tell the difference because of the quotation marks. So you can see around Bob, we've got two quotation marks. We don't have those for age. Majority of programming languages, when you see those quotation marks, and it could be single or it could be double, um, that means we're dealing with some either string or character depending on how many letters or, or how many symbols are in there. Otherwise, we're just going to treat it as an integer or if we put a decimal place, a real. So we've got assignments, um, the name and the variable on the left hand side and the value which is being assigned to on the right hand side. So we've got loads of different operators. We can use different pieces of maths um, and we've got the top one which just assigns a value. So n on this table is any form of number. Uh, so we are saying that n equals o minus 5, so we're doing a little bit of maths there. We can see on the next one, addition plus equals means that n is being added to itself and is being equal to 0. We've got subtraction, multiplication, division. And again, with these operators, you can see quite clearly, if we just turn on the old pen, that we can see over here we have got the addition which is this part subtraction which is the first part multiplication and division so what these are saying is here that n equals n in this case it's subtraction minus o or here we are doing that n equals o minus 5 n equals n plus O, so we're automatically adding onto it. It's a nice little bit of shorthand. If it was just doing some basics there, we can get rid of those equal signs there. We've then got mod, 
and div. I'm going to come back to exponential in a second. So the modulus of a number returns the remainder. So if we did 16 mod 3, that would equal 1. Because 16 divided by 3 gives us the remainder of a 1. If we did 15 mod 3, that would give us 0. Whereas div over here returns the whole number. So if we did 100 div 3, that would return 33 because it returns the whole number it's given. And then finally, the power calculation here, if we did 4 to the power, that's just basic math. You, know, you can see how that one there is being used. So what I want you to do now for activity 2 is nice, easy, and simple. Um, you can see the questions there that we need to do, get them done, pause the video, and then we'll move on. So up next, we are going to be looking at input and we are looking at output. So we can see here a little bit of pseudocode. We have got in output equals what is your name, name equals input, output equals how old are you, age equals input. And again, when we were looking previously, uh, we can then do some casting on these slides here. So we could then even go for age. We could do int input. So then whatever is going to be input here is going to be treated as an integer. So we can always bring in casting at this point to specify the data type that we are using. So what I want you to do, what is input and output? Why is casting so important? Give the video a quick pause and then we move on. So the last thing you guys need to be aware of is this. It's nice, easy and simple. This is your bread and butter of what things can be doing when you come around to programming. This is a very important video to be watching even when you go back to the start of your coursework of doing for your um, programming project because you need to make sure we're happy with variables, constants and data types. See you later.